The rectifier bridge supplies power to charge the battery. Now, there's no regulator shown here. So uh, if we if we go to one that's a little more sophisticated here. <clears throat> the voltage regulator is usually built into, it used to be that voltage regulator were separate from the alternator, but modern technology has now provided a completely sealed alternator. So when something goes wrong with the charging system, you just replace the whole thing and recycle it. Um, the problem we face with alternative power from cars is that if you're using your main starting battery for long-term power, uh, you may get into a situation where you can't start the car or the truck or the RV or whatever it is. So uh, classically, starting in the late 60s, early 70s, people made split battery systems so that uh, you had one battery for starting the car and another one for running your accessories. The problem with that is that uh, unless you have a manual switch where you can charge, you can connect the battery, two batteries together, charge it, run the engine, and then uh, disconnect your accessory battery manually, you'll run both of them down. So, um, especially in cold weather. Batteries don't like cold. So what you have to do is this. Where's my diagram? Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. So you see here, you create a, a diode splitter that lifts the power from the alternator and, and allows each battery to be charged separately so one battery doesn't feed on the other one when you're drawing from it. So you have one for accessories and one for starting the car. Yep, yep. The problem with this, and uh, ignore me at your own peril, you can ignore me at your peril, is that modern cars may not allow this because all modern cars now have computers in them to control everything and monitor everything. So if you stick a, uh, diodes between the battery and the alternator, there may be an error condition sensed by the computer in the car and it may not work, it may not start, it may not, may not uh, do, do its job. It may even uh, damage the, uh, uh, the management system that's controlling your, your accessories in your car or your vehicle. So this this is probably obsolete, and, and the, the diodes, as you can see, you need 100 to 200 amp diodes. So, so the, uh, the splitter is a massive heat sink with very large diodes, you know, $200 for a good one. You know, these cheap ones you buy for $34, <laughs> no. So the, the uh, you see the alternator here, and the... Uh, the schematic of the alternator and another alternator with the diode splitter and two batteries. So, in the, in the past few years, alternative power has become a big deal with, uh, with the Chinese. <laughs> there are all these products out there. Solar panels, wind turbines, um, battery management systems, um, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, real expensive batteries. There's, you can actually buy uh, lithium iron phosphate battery substitutes for your car, but they start at $900. Wow. So um, the, the advantage, though, is the battery will last longer than the car. So you can take the battery out and put it in another one or use it at home. So um, us hams, we, we do the field day stuff, you know, and uh, emergency management and so on. We, uh, we're constantly thinking about alternative power and, the, you know, the phone just rang and told us that one of our repeaters is down. Well, it's because it didn't have alternative power. So that's what I wanted to talk, to, talk about today.
Um, so what we want to do is where is it here? Okay. So these are the individual components needed to do alternative power. And of course, solar doesn't work at night or in the you know bad weather. Um, wind, it's not like we have wind here. <laughs> um, you can actually buy this turbine here uh, that you see. That it's called a Savonius. It's, you know, those French people. Um, $135 for a 200-watt Savonius. You just have to make your own pole to mount it. Yes, sir? Yeah, some say, check with the city. If you're going to put the city, they're not allowed in Lompoc. Yes. And, um, because they can be a fire hazard. Too. This, this week, I wrote my or assemblyman. Either Santa Barbara. I wrote my assemblyman the emergency management for Santa Barbara, and the mayor telling them, tell me if I'm wrong that we can't do this. They haven't responded. A long book will not let you put it in one generator. And if someone, if someone uh, fights them on this, they'll have to get rid of it because that's, that's not actually legal to do that. Sure it is. Well, they're, they're making their own laws, which are... There are city of Lompoc owns the power, that's what you pay for. They have control if the, if the, anyway. I'm saying I'm if the power goes off, everything. I'm <laughs> saying if the power goes off, this will work. How big Solar are those turbines? Turbine. Yes, sir. How big are those turbines? The, um, they're the Chinese, uh, 200, 400, and 600. How big? I mean, it's size. about this big. Can you disguise it? No. You want it up as high as possible. So what, what I'm talking about is alternative power in the field. You, this can work at home or in your RV, but I'm talking about hams with their transmitters in the middle of nowhere where there's no power. This, the, the, well, you know where the solar panel is, you know, they're about this tall and about this, this wide, right? 100 I watts. the turbine. The turbine's about this big around. It's, what, 5 pounds, 10 pounds? More than that. And this style is very easy to put together and take apart in the field and, and store. Okay. So, um, these cheap turbines come with controllers. Throw the controller out, they're crap. You need to buy a very good controller, a, a decent <coughs> controller. This is the the uh, the brains of the system. The um, the AC power from the from the turbine and the DC power from the solar panel, whether it's 14 volts, three phase, or 24 volts, uh, can connect to the power controller. The power controller. Um, maintains the charge on the battery and uh, gives you um, alarms. Gives you, uh, you can have remote alarms so you know what, what state the system is in. Off the battery, you can have a good tie inverter, which can, you know, if you have a, a system where you can have it at your home, this can constantly be running down your power, your, your power bill. So a system that costs about six hundred dollars can save you probably tw uh, anywhere from twenty to a hundred dollars a month in um, electricity bills, especially with the wind we have here. Um, and of course, solar is pretty good here too. We have good good uh, sunshine. So the the uh, the battery can run your twelve volt systems independent of what what the uh, the power system is doing going into the battery. The, the, the uh, regulator booster keeps 12 volts in your system no matter what's going on with the power system. Um, a good grid tie inverter, uh, 2,000 watts, uh, they're, they're relatively expensive. But uh, a grid tie can, can uh, literally stop your meter from turning. 
Okay, one more thing. Oh, and by the way, like I said, Amazon and um, AliExpress and all these companies from China are full of crap. There's a whole bunch of crap. So be careful what you buy. Um, study on YouTube. Look at all of the, the, uh, the videos on YouTube to figure out what to buy because it's, it's very easy to spend your money and not get anything for it. <clears throat> okay. I have a fact sheet here. I don't know if that's going to open or not. Maybe not. This computer is not very fast. Yeah, sorry. Should have opened this before. Import what? Moving. No thanks. Okay, this is that uh, shutting off power for safety thing. Be prepared, power down. So these are all the facts on how to prepare for power interruptions. Now, one thing I've noticed about the uh, the state, they're, they're real cozy with the power companies and they don't say much about alternative power because the, the power companies don't want you to know about alternative power. And the choices for alternative power are better than ever. So doing solar wind is cheaper and more reliable now than it's ever been in history. So, and that threatens them. So they get the government to to give us advice, but they don't tell us what our, all of our options are. And one of our options is for us to generate our own power. So, you know, as fuel prices go down and the cost of the hardware go down, this is why we have these, these politicians passing laws to keep us from having these things in our homes. That's exactly. And you notice in Lompoc, all of the government facilities have solar. That was before the city stopped issuing permits because they're using, they're losing money or getting down to where yeah. they're losing money because of the people going solar. For instance, Greg Gentile, his total bill is about $275 a year. He has solar mm -hmm. that he actually pays to him. But city of Lompo will not, I don't know about Santa Maria, will not issue a permit for wind, solar, any kind of power, alternative power, yeah. because they're losing money. Until but as of 2020, on January, they don't have a choice. All new construction, state of California, mandatory, mandatory has to have solar. Yeah. You know what, too, is uh, I, I just retired from PG&E, by the way. Oh, but, uh, Ah, there's one of the guys we can blame. There you go. <laughs> but uh, the reason they're closing Diablo Canyon is they were banking on people putting solar in so that they didn't have to build any more generation. I'm not sure if that's going to backfire on them or not. No. But, yeah. but that they, they actually wanted people to put it in so that they didn't have to put the money out for the, for the power. So... We'll see how that ends up working out. That's another, yeah. another. So yeah, before another you story. do anything in wherever you live, check with the, with the county, check yeah. with the city, what their their laws and rules and stuff are. There are uh, government agencies that will help you personally, one to one, on how to do all this stuff. And uh, the, this publication is just a list of things that you know. If the power goes off, you need to have all this stuff lined up ahead of time. So, um, and, and there, uh, you know, if you're disabled, elderly, or whatever, you can actually get stuff cheaper if you know where to go. So, You know, Roy Duggar just sent out a thing. I think it was everybody that was on the uh, Aries list. Well, just, but uh, he gave a bunch of links to... Uh, I don't know. You guys, you guys got the roster. You can probably send send those links out to them. Six hundred watt, twelve volt generator. 
It's the Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, that, the, the, the really small one, the 24 volt, 200 watt, is like $130 yeah, it's delivered. 600 watts, 12 volt, this one. Yeah, that's, yeah. Higher voltage is better. A friend of mine wanted to put one up down his ranch east of. So th this is the shape. And this county said no. This generator, they can start fire. This is the shape map for Santa Barbara County. We're here. So the problem is our power for for this area comes across here and here. This is all severe shake area. And the power from the north north end of the uh, our power comes from outside the county. So it comes it, from east. From the east. Well, Across a seven a seven point eight area, you see, for a long distance. So if there's an earthquake uh, nearby that knocks the power out, we could be out of power for weeks or months. Our power that comes in that feeds us goes across the fault line. Yeah, right. Several yeah. of them. It gets severed. These good. lines are but, all but faults. Well is where it comes from. Yeah. There, there are major faults all across here. Actually, we used to have a map. All these, the these are all faults. Right there's there. a map on the back wall here. There was of the distribution yeah. of yeah. where the power comes. Yes. In. Right. So you can just <clears throat> up there. Uh, the base here has its own system. So. <laughs> And you know what, though? It's tied in. For the uh, residents. It's tied into both Southern Cal Edison and bg &E. And they have 40% solar. It's not even that. Yeah, it's, it's, no batteries. Yeah. Batteries are expensive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But yeah, and I don't know, you may all know this. It doesn't make any difference. If you have solar in your house and the power goes out, you don't have any power either. Right. Yeah, unless, unless you have, you have battery batteries. backup. And this is where you can get it from Tesla at five thousand dollars a pack. In fact, they're on yeah. Amazon Te now. Tesla like stuff that. is pretty good. Okay. It's it's very highly highly rated, yeah, highly yeah, sought after. Yeah. yeah, you have to have the cash. Um, okay, Th these videos here. I'm not going to show you any of them, but you see several videos here. Uh, I'll include them in show notes. Uh, when I when I uh, publish this video, so you can watch these videos. This guy, this young guy, is very good. He's lived in a in a camper for ten years, and uh, he does all of this alternative power on, on how to do it, what to buy, and uh, you know. Is that the young kid? Yeah, he's he, yeah, he's he looks good. like he's in high school, but I don't think he is. He's in his late twenties. He did. I watch a lot of his videos, and he tells you which panels are good, which are yeah. bad. Yeah, he te he tests them right in front of you, so you Very can thorough. you can see. Yeah, and money, you know, an expensive panel is not necessarily uh, a good choice. Um, so he he discusses all of that. Um, I don't know. I just have So if you if you uh, this is one of the better controllers here. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. I don't think the zoom is working on this computer. But you see that the, uh, the solar panel connects here. The wind turbine connects here. There's three phase. Um, there's, a, there's a control system with the microprocessor. The battery connects here, and the alarms connect here. So that's the heart of the system. So when you buy a decent controller for the amount of power that you want to control, you're set for life. The, uh, a good controller and a good battery will last you a lifetime. How much the controller cost? They're between a hundred and two hundred dollars, depending on the power level. Okay. One thing you must know is, depending on how many watts of solar panels you have, because those only yeah. handle up right. to. Whatever size it is, yeah. like this one you buy from, say, Harbor Freight, no. really good for 50 watts. Yeah, yeah. So you it's got, not if you've got 600 watts, you can't use right. that because you'll burn it up. So that's got to cover more than yeah. the wattage that your solar panel well, put out. Well, you, you can some, now buy. Put up you can now, now buy solar panels with 
the grid tie <laughs> inverter built in. So you just stick it outside and plug it in and, and your battery your meter stops. Uh, so you can't do that legally. <laughs> <laughs> yep. right there. Yeah. You can't do that. And, yeah. The, the power well, companies have legislated us out of freedom. Well, no, it's not that safety reasons. If you just plug it in, you're going to back, if power goes out, you back feed the grid. If somebody's working on it, I know. You get less well, use. that's why you have to have a, a, a disconnect. The, the yes. inverter stops if the power goes Oh, yeah. A, a, a good uh, grid tie inverter will, will turn itself off when the, when the, uh, the line well, stops. Yes. Oh, because right. it depends on the line to inject that's the power. That's exactly right. Yeah. I, uh, and also these ones, if you're running a turbine, you have to have one for a turbine. Yeah, this one does both. It is also controls the speed of the turbine. If yes. It gets, the wind gets up too high and gets spin too fast, it breaks it down. Yeah, it, what it, it does is it, it, puts, uh, it, puts, a, break it puts a resistance on the, uh, the alternator uh, output, which gives back pressure to the to the wind turbine and, and provides friction. Of course, if the wind is too high, it, it's going to break anyway. So It'll shut it down completely. Yeah. It'll pull the clutch out of it like a centrifugal deal. Well, whatever, the, yeah, and the, the thing is, with these cheap turbines, who cares? If it breaks, put another one there. I mean, they're so cheap. They're so cheap that it... But the, the main reason why I'm doing this is that, you know, hams want to do power in the field and it, it's cheaper and more reliable than ever. The most expensive thing in the alternative power system is the battery. Battery technology is all over the place and so are the prices. So it's very important to know the power level and, and exactly what you want. Uh, and this guy shows, shows all about it. The, the better batteries are between, like I said, between $900 and $1,300 for tw just for 12 volts. But they, they will give you continuous 100 amp power, which will run that refrigerator there all day. Just a 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery in your car will not do that. Depends on the wind. No, I'm talking about just the, a fully charged battery with a, with a uh, an inverter, a, a full sine wave inverter, will run a refrigerator. Refrigerators are between 400 and, and 1200 watts, depending on how big they are. Will run your refrigerator all day. On a very <clears> big battery. Yeah, the expensive ones, the good very, ones. Very Not the lead acid clunker in your yeah, car. Now you tell these guys, both your hands will like, for instance. Um, there's one right there, yeah. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> They want to go out in the field. They're not going to carry all this stuff with them. Right. It's too heavy. Right. Michael, well, sometimes they do. This guy says, <laughs> but if you go to backpack in someplace, you're not going to carry stuff like that. You'll carry your roll-up and your little batteries and your roll-up solar panel and put it out there. And this guy shows a. Yeah. Yeah. Is he 20 years old? <laughs> he looks, he's really young. See the on the back of his See, this, this guy shows a simple solar system, 200 watts. 200 watt system. This video is mainly going to cover how to So I'll, sh I'll give you the links to this guy. We don't have to watch it here. But uh, he, he shows that the, the, the least amount of money you can get by with, to get reliable alternative power in the field. All the way up to to really uh, luxurious high power systems. That battery, that last one to show, that's that's the expensive battery. So this is a, this is an inexpensive battery. You see the charge controller, a fuse bank, and the sine wave inverter with the battery. So that that will run um, your refrigerator. Yeah, a small one. Not that it's not big like that. Small one. And uh, I can say reliably that the reason why I, I like this stuff is because I lived off the grid for 10 years. So I know that emergency power, alternative power, it can be a way of life. I was in the 80s when I was, when I had hair.
<laughs> There's a couple of homes down in uh, Rigoroa Mountain, back up there and out of the canyons. Yeah. They're 100% off the grid. Oh, yeah. Running, but they're running batteries and so forth, too. But the biggest problem is water. The biggest problem is water. If you have a well, that's, you know, that... It's not like a big ranch or something. Yeah. If you don't have water and you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're you're in, you're in danger. It only takes a few days to to die from no water. So, uh, any questions? It's now past two. Yes, sir. I don't have a question. But I got a comment. I've got one of those cars that has all of the fancy stuff on it here at the top of the line. It's got seven. Computers in it. Yes. It's always one going. And, and when, when you stop your car and you get out of it, I lost my car every time because you shut six of those computers off. It'll maintain the security system. But there's always one on. And it died on me in San Maria. The battery got down below the safe uh -huh. and I'd have a car tow it. It didn't, yeah. didn't tow it because it locks wheels yeah. and everything. Yeah. That car shuts down completely. Yes. I had, to, I had to get a tow truck to haul it over to the dealer in Santa Maria. So, so it's a, it's a road, pain. Don't put a mobile in your car. No. Yeah. The mod, modern vehicles, <laughs> the power systems are real, real finicky in these modern systems. Uh, this is why an alternative system like this is independent of the car is the way to go. Okay. Are we, are we, uh, are we set? Yes, sir. This guy is... Uh, get on the uh, radio. Oh, on the TV. What's this? How do we get on the? I'll send you links. I'll, I, you're on the you're on the mailing list, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll uh, I'll make a video of everything and put the links in there, so that you'll be able to watch this guy. This guy is really good. I was I was really impressed with him. He's uh, uh he's been living off the grid all of his life. So. He's not that old. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's hard to tell how old these guys are. He's probably four years old. No, he's not that old. Maybe he's got some off the grid stuff that he takes that keeps him looking young. He might be 60. Well, you know, it, what it looks like is that manufacturers are are just mailing him stuff and he's just testing it because he's well, he's uh he's very knowledgeable. I watch a detailing channel too and this guy he, he reviews everybody. Okay? And when you get good and people start watching you, they'll send you everything yeah. under the sun. It's like I watch a ink guy in Australia. Yeah. They send him guns oh, yeah. and everything. Oh yeah. So you can see here he's, he, he has a just a, a board. He's putting the that's a that's an invert sideways inverter, a, a fuse bank, the battery uh, charge controller. There's another guy that does that stuff, Jay Hugo Garcia, and he's hooked up. Yes, to the, L.A. Yeah, well, he's like San Diego, but he shows you the difference between all the different batteries, like the 18650s. Uh huh. That's what makes a Tesla. There's a yes. whole bunch of those 18650s. Yes. And they're what are they, five grand or whatever? Toyota's are eight grand for a new battery. For a, yes. For a thing like that. They're supposed to last 20 years. They're about five grand from Tesla. They're, they're uh, warranted for eight years. And if you the treat them well. Show you, uh, that yeah. There's a little thing they put in there that makes all the batteries equal. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's the, the, the uh, battery management system. Yes. Oh yeah, you can't you, know. you can't use modern batteries without a management system, and and if you buy prismatic cells, they all have to be um, discharged with the battery management management system, so they they equalize at their bottom. It's called bottom uh, bottom charge. I have a little twenty charger that charges all of my rechargeables, uh -huh. and it gives you four different things: drain them, refresh them, and. Uh, yeah, so uh, unless you know what you're doing with batteries, buy one that's self-contained. Otherwise, uh, you may have problems. <laughs> like I said, ignore my advice at your peril. <laughs> <laughs>
So I guess we're 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 about at the end. Yes, sir. Yeah. Anybody who wants to do the uh, five mile vintners run, come see me. Copy it. Next week. You didn't think it would come all the way down without tangling, did you? You were hoping, I know. <laughs> like a rope or a piece of wire, it's nothing but a knot. <coughs> right. Hey, Randy, drop it down. You got enough down here that. You know, oh, yeah, but we want to we yeah, cut it and go it. somewhere in the middle, too, so. Yeah. Government property. Well, right. Why don't you just, yeah, give me this other end, tie it to it, and you I guess we could have untied it and then unrolled it. Right. We were. Hey, drop it down while I'm rolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Randy, Yeah, 
somewhere in all four of these. Yeah, four going up. Thank you. 